<coughs> yes, Sujit. So, uh, this is your first attempt? Uh, no, sir, third attempt. Third attempt. Yes, sir. And uh, your educational background is uh, artificial. Uh, what you have done basically? Sir, what I is the degree? Graduated in uh, information and technology. I said it is not written in like that. You know, you have written artificial intelligence and information system and security. Please. Sir, there was hmm. subject, so I thought uh, that I have to Okay, it's all right. It's all right. It doesn't make any difference. Hmm. But degree is BE. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, before uh, really going into the depth of the situation, tell me, when you are jogging, yes, which sir. part of your foot should uh, fall first on the ground? Sir, knee. Knee? Sir, toe. Toe? Or uh, heel? Or flat part? Which, which is uh, the preferable part which should fall on the ground when you are jogging? Sir, uh, while running, that is okay. Yes, That's sir. the front part, toes. Yes, sir. But while jogging, what? Uh, which part? Is heel or the middle one? Sir, middle one. If I jog a little faster, then it's a, a toe. When we walk, then the full uh, fit. Why don't we put a heel first? Sir, so we'll lose the balance. Why? When you are having fast walk in Olympics. You know, you remember that there's the first heel is put on the ground. When they walk like this, you know, you have, might have seen, and they are having fast walking. Sir, I'm not aware about. Okay, this. that's all right. Now, secondly, you have uh, written uh, as your uh, extra curricular activity, taking up online course. Yes, sir. What does it mean, yes, sir? Uh, any kind of educational videos. Uh, I take from the online sources like Brunal sir uh, website. That yeah, but there is a there is a ulta thing, you know. Here you are saying taking up online courses. Yes, sir. I also take course on Coursera hmm. uh, on so on different subject like my subject is information technology. So there are various new technology. I take courses on that. Which software do you use to prepare your uh, videos? Sir, I, I listen to the uh, uh, videos. You then don't I make your own videos? Uh, no, sir, currently I don't do. But, so how come it is your uh, hobby then? Sir, I uh, take up the online courses. Means I learn from online courses. I no, but that cannot be hobby. That, is a uh, that you might be considering for yourself as a requirement. Uh, yes. So, how, how can it become a hobby? So throughout your life, you will continue uh, learning from uh, online courses? Sir, I will learn some of the new technology or something new which is cu curious. So it, it's about learning new thing. So, so taking up online courses will be uh, lasting forever, and this you call your hobby. Uh, yes, sir. It will, would be one of the hobby. Yeah, definitely. Any other hobby which you have other than these uh, two? Um, so, no, particularly during the preparation stage. I followed these two regularly, so I have written this. Do jogging for how many kilometers every day? Uh, five kilometer. And uh, what is the recovery time? Uh, wh what do you call uh, a recovery time in jogging? So maybe uh, five to ten minute uh, walking. No, what uh, what is the recovery time? What does it mean? That the body uh, come to a normal state. Normal state from what? From uh, which state? Uh, the heart heartbeat goes up when we jog. So the normal uh, heart rate. So that recovery time is maybe five to ten minutes, because I some of the times run fast, some of the times run slow. Generally, five to ten minutes is good. Okay. <coughs> now let us talk something about uh, um, ethics. Yes. Sir. What is the difference between ethics and laws? So laws are made by the sovereign body, uh, which are enforced. Uh, ethics generally are followed. Is on a society whole, <coughs> but that are not enforced. That is followed by individual, and there are moral sanctions by the society if uh, one does not follow the ethics. But then, then who makes these ethics? Who prepares these ethics? Where are they, these ethics written? So we, uh, through our uh, grow up, uh, from our individual uh, perspective or from so social perspective, so we follow certain norms. What, how, how, how do we arrive at those norms? 
so through social discussion through family discussion uh, no, how can you uh, decide for the society by having family discussion sir on family level for family ethics there can be family di discussion <coughs> on uh, social level there would be social discussion so we arrive uh, can you give me an example where you have uh, arrived at certain ethics by having your family discussions sir we respect all no matter that, no that is the simple principle of morals that is the first moral which is taught yes sir the respect the elders respect your parents respect the person who is suffering yes sir you know what is wrong what is right that is the uh, principle of morals so how 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 do you arrive at ethics from this what is ethics basically just tell me what is ethics sir ethics uh, uh, means that there is social uh, do's and don't that uh, ethics are do's and don'ts they are the social standard that de that decide that certain actions should be performed or a certain actions should not be performed there is morals so on when there is an individual decision hmm. then it is called mor morals when the society decide it is called i generally it is said that you know vices are always ready to attack virtues hmm? what is this uh, whole thing the whole concept and what it is known as you are sure about it that virtues yes. are always attacked by and they are you know, they are always uh, <coughs> susceptible to attack by by vices what does it mean so there are always uh, temptation to do uh, with shortcuts hmm. and the virtue require perseverance patience hard work some, sometimes a uh, personal loss Uh, so uh, there is always uh, in a, uh, individual preference towards following the shortcuts and immediate gratification so this is a, a vices attack <coughs> to virtues so generally you know uh, when we are talking about these things they become very critical for a civil servant right for a civil servant suppose you become secretary of a department when you grow senior you become secretary of the department how will you use these ethical principles where will you use these <coughs> ethical principles what can be the circumstances which you can imagine where you will be using these ethical principles sir in policy formulation uh, we have to take care those who are at the bottom of socio economic ladder secondly uh, with regard to uh, this any kind of when we see the public interest the public interest should always come uh, first then the private interest or the interest of a few individual so these are the so what will you avoid basically at that level that high level what should be the basic thing which can be avoided by using ethical theories we should not engage in any kind of conflict of interest or uh, do something for personal gain what is ethical egoism then There's, there was a question in 2019 on this ethical egoism so i will recall there was direct case study on that Sorry. what is egoism when we uh, believe that we are uh, we give importance to ourselves more than others than others right so you you think that everything good should happen and nothing bad should happen to you that is ethical egoism now at the level of the secretary when you have reached how will it be applicable how will it avoid you so we should see the collective interest <coughs> should always come uh, should be always respected should be always followed rather than the individual so, and also the individual uh, ethics should be under the uh, collective ethics so uh, one should not give too much importance to self and neglect to that that would be the idea very recently you might have heard in the news very prominently flashed everywhere that now a uh, human being has developed basically a live robot live rep robot is having life what is that sir for example people are engaged or and addicted to the social media they are not engaging with their family member or the society so the individual are becoming uh, like a like, like a robot, robot but actual robot of a very small size that is life which is that as an engineer you should know it <coughs> okay just uh, forget about it uh, when you are uh, working 
uh, in the field of engineering, hmm, in the engineering field. Then you might be knowing uh, this uh, Nobel Prize this year for medicine. Do you have any idea? So it's an annual trick. You know, this is very, very important because this is a breakthrough which was, you know, under process for last 20, 25 years, the remedy of cancer. Do, are you remembering now? What has been the invention? What has been the process they have evolved? And in America now, US, they have already started doing it. Sorry, sir, I annual to recall hmm? this. What is this filter antenna? I don't know. Hmm? Okay. Now, last question from my side. What is the probability in governance? So following the, the process. Uh, by maintaining the honesty and integrity. No, what, why, why, do, why should you follow all these things basically? Why should, why, why probity in governance is important? Why do you specifically mention the syllabus? Because um, there are rules and laws, constitution, those ideas. So no, these are, this is okay, but <coughs> to whom do you want to show it? Sir, it serves the public interest, it helps to uh, use the government resources more efficiently, it helps to avoid uh, any kind of uh, uh, illegal gain to any person or to himself or herself. So, in that context, the probability is important in the governance. So, basically, you are trying to achieve an image. So, image for yourself or for the administration or the office of the collector, I suppose. Sir, uh, for the office, office is always more important than the individual. So, by uh, adopting probability in governance, you are giving a strength to the yes. office. So, people develop trust in you. Yes, sir. They develop trust in the institution. Yes, sir. So, at every level, when you reach in the service, this is very, very important. Yes, sir. You are appointed as SP of a district. You go there and you find that in spite of very brilliant uh, computer engineers, very brilliant engineers, men who have good, good, good good technology, knowledge of technology, good, good, uh, you see, commitment, good uh, moral values. They, they, they have not improved, they are not able to improve the functioning of police stations. The same corruption, the same uh, registers, the same, uh, you see, poor uh, investigation, low conviction ratio, uh, number of complaints people are not taking the FIRs, what you will do in such a scenario? You have seen the entire incumbency, you find the brilliant and very intelligent people have been their SP and you go there, How? what you would like to do? And the thing has changed in the last 30, 40 years, except a better building and some more resources at the disposal of inspector, that is all. Sir, I beg to differ on this, there have been the improvement. Mm -hmm. uh, the improvement level may not be as per our expectation. Uh, as an individual, if I go to the SP, uh, there are various schemes that is being... Uh, you have not yet joined. You start justifying after joining as SP. So, tell me the uh, areas. Yes, sir. Are. So, yes, sir. No, no. Uh, I, I, have, I have given you a situation. Yes, sir. Now, tell me how you would like to improve. Sir, there are... Uh, Don't justify that, that the entire uh, Indian police is doing that job. So, there are, uh, you see, hundreds of people who are doing it. Your job is to improve it. I have given you yes, a situation. Sir. Now, what you would like to do in that situation, how you will improve it so that people, people, people have very positive <coughs> opinion about the police? Sir, community policing would be one of my priority. Many people are doing it. It is done in all the states. Sir, it can be done more effectively by engaging with people, by interacting with them, by, uh, by It has not worked. Tell me some more, more ways. Many SPs have tried, it has failed. Rather, it created actually more brokers between the police station and the society. Tell me more, more, more methods by which you can improve it. Sir, as of now, I can only see the technology. I am taking you by using the technology. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, online FIR. Uh, that is how? One yeah, yeah, yeah. Come to that. How? Sir, online FIR. Uh, if the police provide for a particular area, the people to file the complaint. 
with some fact figures and then holding the police accountable, those who are at the, uh, the Thana level, holding them accountable uh, through those, how, how many cases they are handling, uh, their, where they are reaching in terms of conclusion, uh, what are the problems? Look, there is a Supreme Court judgment directive yes, that within 24 hours you have to upload it, Yes, sir. the FIR, it is already there. But what, what, in what ways you would like to force them? And, and use the technology so that it is more transparent and it develops trust between the police and the public. When the, when the, when the action… What is the greatest power in the hands of a station house officer? What is the greatest power? I am not aware of You are not aware? The whole country knows. You, I am police station in charge, you have come with a complaint, please take my FIR. It is my discretion whether to take, to register this as FIR or not. The yes. greatest power. Yes, sir. So, how, how, how you will check this? In spite of Supreme Court directive, it is not uploaded. They will say system has failed, connectivity was not there, papers yes. have not come, but what way you would like to change it? Sir, the community, uh, community service center is It has not worked. Now, the technology is the only way. Yes, sir. The Th that is the situation. Yes. How you will use the technology so that the system is forced to be more transparent and, and, and more, you see, more convincing, more, more objective. Sir, if people can file uh, the cases from their home instead of coming to Thana, that giving discretion to the Thana officer, right? So then uh, there is, uh, when they are filed, then there will be more. Uh, a kind of transparency or more kind of pressure on the Thana officer to act honestly and to act with. I am telling you the Supreme Court directive says that you have to upload it, not only upload it, you have to mention the latest development that what is the level of investigation as it is, up to conviction, there is, there are already guidelines. So I just want to know what you would like to do and which works. Yes, sir. Allowing, in, uh, which I'm saying, allowing individual to file the complaint from their home instead of coming to the thana uh, of uh, thana, right? The, that would be uh, that. So that will eliminate the the middle work that the thana have a discretion to file. Can you ask a police station, which is the most corrupt one, that please send me daily all the complaints which you are not registering as FIR on my WhatsApp? No, sir. That's why. It's very simple. And then you read it and you tell that, oh, no, no, the complaint number 2, it has all the components of FIR. Please register it and give the copy. Yes, sir, that is one. Very simple. And then at the same time, you can ask the concerned person to be updated on the investigation. These days, even people are ready to give you, there is so many, you see, social media platforms available public yes, domain, they are ready to cooperate, they can yes. give you the evidence which your investigating officer is not interested in. Yes, sir. It is possible. Yes, sir. What is Panchayati Raj? Sir, Panchayati Raj is the third uh, tier of governance uh, where there is a Mukhya, uh, then there is a… Mukhya? Uh, Mukhya at the Panchayat level. Which uh, level is Mukhya? Uh, there is a panchayat, panchayat level, the head of the panchayat is called Mukhya, yeah. then there is a block level uh, panchayat samiti and there is a jila level which is a, a jila parishad. Yeah. What are the functions? Mm. The function is, uh, is mentioned in the, the, the schedule 11 of the constitution which is to take uh, on the forestation work to land development in terms of the water uh, resources. Uh, drainage system. Important ones, one, two, three. Most important functions of district panchayats, there are dozens of them, but first three, one, two, three, which are very, very important, common in India. That is priority of everyone. Uh, sir, they do um, implement the government schemes with respect to yeah implementation the, of schemes is yes, sir, like uh, Indra Avas, uh, Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana uh, 
Secondly, there are uh, they also engage in the land uh, land taxation issues. Uh, for land example, tax. giving the uh, I'm unable to recall the exact. What thing. about health, education, nutrition? Uh, yes, sir. But the, the most important. But in my, uh, there they does not uh, you know take care of the, over these things. What? Uh, Sir, Mukher does not uh, oversee. No, no, Panchayat, the yes, district sir. Panchayat. District Panchayat. Jilla Parishad. Jilla Parishad. Oh, sir, I am not uh, aware. aware. Yes, sir. Yes. What have you been doing since 2016? Uh, sir, I have been preparing for the exam. I, I was not good at uh, many uh, many of the part of the, of the civil service preparation. So, it took me time to to do. So you have not worked uh, anywhere or so? Uh, yes, sir. sir. After 2016 passing the graduation, I came to uh, Delhi to prepare for the exam. For preparing for exam. What is the last movie you have seen? Sir, Twilight Ek Prem Katha, I remember. I often see Anand movie by uh, Anta Vachan. Uh, no, but he's asking what is the latest, latest, movie. latest movie. Not watch movies. Uh, yes, I watch the short movies, but uh, 15 minutes <coughs> movies. Uh, but even then, they just tell any story, uh, any movie which you have seen last. This is what he's asking. Uh, sir, Anand was the last. Anand, 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 Anand was sir, 40 story. years <laughs> back. 40 years back. <laughs> sir, I when I was it. of your age. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I regularly see it because it gives a certain kind of uh, strength. No, no, this is, uh, this is not. Uh, and, uh, in, in the interview fine. board, you should never do that. <coughs> Yes, sir. I uh, yeah, because uh, this is basically you are trying to un unnecessarily lead the board, and it becomes very obvious. This is not a correct method of doing it. Uh, yes, sir. I now I'll ask you, what is the drama or a theater you have seen? No, sir. I have not much. Or any music program? Uh, sorry, sir. I've never been. Then the next <laughs> question: Tell me, what is the Indian culture actually? How 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 you understand the uh, Indian no. culture? Uh, yes, sir. I can answer <laughs> this question. There are various festivals that we celebrate, and, uh, and that is a part of the Indian culture. What is the la latest uh, festival in news, uh, which is uh, organized in uh, Ladakh? Very prominent festival. And this time it was uh, flashing in the news, because they did something unusual. Mm, sorry, sir. So, you will be trapped like this. So, please uh, be sure that uh, when you are answering the uh, questions, don't go in a direction which basically disturbs uh, the mentality of the board. Mm, yes. Right. So, whenever you are talking about the movie, what so whether you have seen 50 minutes uh, movie or 30 minutes movie or 50 minutes movie, truthfully you should speak that. Yes, sir. So, if you say the toilet, uh, yeah, Kata. Ah, yes, sir, I've seen this. I think that would have been a good one to huh. discuss government uh, role in this ah, one. Yes, sir, uh, or if you said Suvidaga, for example. Uh, Suidaga was also a movie related to uh, uh, this kind of rural yes, workers. You know. But you should not go back that much, you know. Uh, uh, yes, Anand sir. is. Uh, yes, uh, I understand. Uh, anyway, <coughs> you have published a research paper. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, tell us about it. Sir, it was uh, finding the evolutionary relationship. Uh, e evolutionary? Relationship uh, among microbes uh, in our blood. Among microbes in, in the blood. blood. Huh, that is present in our blood, yeah. Blood should not have microbes. Microbes can still suck in blood? No? So, there are various uh, uh, virus, bacteria that forms, that are, that are part of uh, the, the blood. Now, who says that? Sir, but blood should be sterile, otherwise, I won't be able to. So, there are certain components. If I have septicemia, uh, if, my, if there is bacteria yeah. in my blood, I have septicemia. But there are microbes which. Uh, we collected this data, actually this was uh, the analysis of the genome sequence. Okay. Uh, so, we collected this data from Human Microbiome Project. So, there uh, they mentioned that this microbes, so we analyzed those uh, data. That was it a gut or a blood? Uh, it was a blood. It can't be. Maybe gut, uh, intestine, which has a lot of my, uh, micro uh, bacteria and uh, that that is microbiome environment in a human. But what did you find? So we find the evolutionary relationship because we have multiple uh, microbes in our blood 
and how they have evolved. What yeah, are the it is now you should uh, leave the word b blood out of it and go home and check that. Is there any relationship between gene and uh, DNA? Uh, yes, sir. What is that? Sir. Uh, so then, then only you will be able to explain him. Otherwise, it is not looking a strong thing. Yes, sir. DNA. Because then, uh, whether this paper was published somewhere? Uh, yes, sir. <coughs> That's why I'm asking. Uh, yes, sir. It was published in the microbial. Now you answer that question. So that will clarify uh, the whole situation. You just answer. Sir, uh, the DNA gene is contained in the DNA. There are certain DNA. Actually, there is a whole uh, big ATCG sequence, right? So some of the t traits that we have in terms of gene. So they are included in that uh, as a uh, kind of a, a sort sequence in that DNA. Gene is contained in that sort sequence of the DNA. Mm -hmm. like so, it is, it is so, so further, what, what, what is the uh, consequence to that? How RNA is produced? Then you will come to the correct answer. The, the question I am asking is, what is the interest hmm. in that paper that I should go to library, yes. find out and read about? why I should be interested in reading. You have published it. Yes, sir. Why did you publish? So that people will read whatever you have found. Mm, yes, sir. So what you have found that I should go and find the paper and read about? Sir, there are the, first there is a process that we followed in terms of analyzing those data. Mm -hmm. uh, there are tools like R we use uh, to analyze those data. Mm -hmm. Then there is mathematics with respect to calculating their uh, the values when we have a big sequence. So, yeah. so what you are saying is that the process you employed uh, for yes, finding sir. this was, was a new one? No sir, that was not new one, but as a, a graduate student it was uh, uh, good for, for me. Okay, because if it was new one, my question would have been, did you patent it or uh, uh, whatever you, software registration? So patent software. If, if it was your own yes, sir, discovery. That that you yeah. have got the patent. Ah, yes, sir. No, sir. We followed the process and we. Uh, so anybody would have done it, I want to say. Uh, no, sir. It required uh, a year long uh, preparation because understanding those data. Yeah, I mean, but anybody would have understood that data. So the algorithm is what you developed or it's available? Sir, when we started, uh, there was no. Uh, we didn't find anywhere. Any algorithm. So you developed the algorithm. Uh, we thought that this is how we should uh, proceed. Okay, and yeah. then you you employed uh, deployed that algorithm to find out this. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, so then, if that's a new this one, can you not register your software? What do we do for? Um, can you get a patent for software? Sir, for a patent is not given for the software. Uh -huh. So, what do you do for software? So, when the software is uh, integrated with hardware, if that combination form a unique, okay. then the patent is given. Otherwise, software alone, uh, the patent is uh, not provided under the Patent Act. So, since you have studied the artificial intelligence, is there any IPR issues that the government should worry about? Yes, sir. If, uh, Do you follow my question? Uh, yes, sir. Ah. So I'm not aware about any specific, but uh, there is there can be issues. Uh, for example, uh, if certain companies develop certain function ah. and they patent it, and they uh, develop any kind of uh, uh, monopoly over that those function, then uh, there can be problem uh, for these the consumer. And secondly the data that is being captured because the data capturing is important f to develop the AI uh, algorithm. Is, is our government using artificial intelligence anywhere? I know China government is using. So there are some form of uh, a project insight to uh, to check the tax evader. Uh, so one. To take the? Uh, tax evader. Tax evasion. Okay. Yes sir. So the project insight uh, has been employed by the Ministry of Finance. That is the one. Um, there is a Niti Aayog uh, uh, strategy uh, on uh, the artificial intelligence. Uh, NIC has uh, also um, came oh, up with the excellence. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, Sujit, what is SPSS? 
sanitary and phytosanitary methods? SPSS, it is a software now, tell oh. me. Simon it is used in this statistical analysis. What is ANOVA? A N O V A. ANOVA. Analysis of variance. Are you familiar with variance in your mathematics optional subject? Uh, no, sir, variance is not, I am not aware. This so not is a, mathematics your optional subject? Uh, yes, sir. So, in tell mathematics me. Mathematics, you have not studied variance. Uh, I uh, well, don't don't tell this thing. This is not possible. Uh, when uh, mathematics is a, this is the first thing, you know, the first chapter, the preliminary <laughs> chapter. When we start mathematics, it's just before that. I should say that the third, fourth, fifth step before uh, actually we study the mathematics. So it may be uh, I'm unable to recall right now. Variance. Uh, yes, sir. Mathematics. What is standard deviation then? Uh, so, this is the part of statistics. I am But this much basic mathematics should uh, yes, be sir. expected. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, I should. Well, let me ask you uh, this. Is uh, statistics relevant to artificial intelligence? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, then, then this yeah. question becomes very. Yes, sir. I will not read statistics. I will revise uh, after today. Yeah. Tell me the difference mm -hmm. between axiom, postulate, and theorem. So, theorem, uh, axiom are some basic statement that is assumed to be uh, true. For example, if there is a two point, if we connect it, it will be a straight line. Then uh, what is postulate? <coughs> so, I am unable to recall on the postulate. Uh, so, theorem. What is theorem? Uh, theorem are statement which are proved. And uh, then hypothesis? Hypothesis are assumptions. Assumption? Yeah, we assume something uh, that is hypothesis. So, what is binomial? <laughs> No, yes. So, what is binomial theorem? Binomial theorem, have you heard that term? Uh, what is probability distribution? Probability distribution. Sir, I have just unable to recall on the statistics. Uh, okay, let us leave this thing. School children in Muzaffar Nagar, they Muzaffar died poor. Yeah. Okay, in Muzaffar Nagar or somewhere, they were killed because someone spike the midday meal with pesticide. Are you familiar with this? Yes, news? sir. It was uh, in one of the district of Bihar. I will to recall the name. Yes, so suppose you are the collector, district magistrate. What will you do? Uh, sir, th there must be uh, some unannounced visit and uh, inspection of uh, these uh, midday meal schemes that what are being else? implemented by the government. Secondly is uh, the outsourcing uh, of these activities to uh, some accredited organization uh, that can be also done. But if you say accredited organizations, they will bring their own particular type of people, whereas midday meal also visualizes that some local people should be given employment such as some widow who could cook the meal and find some job. But if you outsource it, they will find the person who is willing to work for the lowest minimum wages coming from some other state. Will it not create new set of problems? Sir, local organization can be promoted instead of any uh, foreign or what they else? can be made uh, mandatory. Uh, the panchayat uh, can be uh, can be made responsible or can so be allocated. So presently are they not responsible for in any ways uh, in midday meal? Sir, they are responsible but they don't, uh, in my area, they don't function uh, as effective on Do you that. see technology as a solution to any of this? Uh, yes sir, uh, technology can be the solution. How exactly? Uh, the food can be photographed, that is the one, or uh, the food testing analysis can be, uh, and their uh, data can be uh, directly uh, linked or provided to the central uh, monitoring service, maybe district magistrate or uh, block. What is machine it. learning? Sir, machine learning is a part of uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, in, in this, uh, we actually fit data. We don't uh, give a specific dose and uh, sequence of uh, algorithm to it. Instead, we fit data. It learned from the data. So, we then programming language is more suitable for machine learning? Sir, on this, uh, I... Can you give me name of some programming languages other than the usual C++ and other things? Uh, Java, Python. Mm, Java is known to everyone. Eh? You are a student of artificial intelligence. Uh, uh, okay. What is Ajax? A-J-A-X. Asynchronous JavaScript something something. So, how is it different from the routine Java? I am not aware on this. Okay, sir, that is all from my side. So, thank you very much. We shall just call you after. Okay, sir. Thank you.
Sujit Petro. <coughs> So you know, when uh, your language is Maithili, yes. hmm, uh, you should have a very different perspective of life. Hmm? Positive thing, I am speaking very positive thing about you. And that you have, that you have in you. Uh, you also have a very positive thing, I am speaking very positive thing about you. And that you have, that you have in you. Uh, you also have a very in-depth analysis of few things, but you require few additional conceptualization of certain things which are happening around you. Okay. Now, uh, for example, when we are talking to you, never, never, never in any interview hmm, uh, put you know, whenever some discussion is taking place, you do not uh, have a wider smile, broad smile. Should never happen. Should never happen in the universe. So you should please uh, uh, try and you try to control this uh, while answering the questions. So what can be done for that? More it serious, maybe. Much more serious, and then before answering the questions, you should always think twice. Yes. You know, the interview board members, they will never mind that if you are delaying a bit. Yesterday, there was a child who was taking, you know, more than 20-25 uh, seconds. But uh, the child was very good. Right. So, uh, there is no hurry in the interview board also. There is no hurry there. They give you full opportunity and uh, full time to answer your questions. Now, uh, another thing which we have noticed that you have to basically know the fundamentals of your engineering degree as well as your optional. Yes, sir. When you are talking about artificial intelligence, then basic fundamentals, because as a common person which I understand about artificial intelligence, I teach science and technology, so there I discuss a uh, lot about artificial intelligence. So, I feel that you should have uh, all peripheral knowledge of artificial intelligence. Yes. You just told that we just feed the data and computer will analyze. Yes, sir. How will it? This is not a correct statement because when you are saying just feeding the data, just feeding the data will never result into anything. Yes, sir. There is software. Yes. There has to be something, you know. Yes, sir. It, it cannot be just you feed the data and uh, artificial intelligence will produce some miracles and results. So, that we did not stop you in between because we wanted to know how are you speaking. But uh, according to the board, we are just trying to suggest you that whenever you are speaking and giving statements of your area of your competence, you should be very, very careful. You should be very, very careful. Yes. And uh, the Xenobot which I was talking about that the live, small live one, this should be in your knowledge because this is the latest example of artificial intelligence, Xenobot. So, you have not heard about? Uh, no, sir. You should, have, you should have read it in the newspapers. It is such a prominent news throughout the world. It is the first live uh, uh, robot. It was in all newspapers. Yeah, live. It is a live thing. And the mm -hmm. greatest thing is that once it reaches to that particular point where it will be delivering medicine and something in the body, it is yeah. very, very small. So, it will automatically dissipate there. Such an, and it is programmable. Yes, sir, I have heard and now I am able to recall. Yeah. So, so, these things should, you should try to gather knowledge on these things. Uh, yes, sir. Number one. Number two, you should gather sufficient knowledge on what is happening around you. Yes. Your state, because you are coming from uh, Bihar. Yes, sir. So, there are lot, lot of aspects uh, regarding caste uh, conflicts, uh, caste biases and all those things. Uh, then uh, geographically, uh, very different uh, variations are existing. Yes. So, you should have plenty of knowledge of Bihar. Yes, sir. Right. That will really help you a lot. Because even if we, uh, I, know I start asking you about the rivers, how are they uh, going, how are they is it flowing, they, is there any, any river which is crossing the state? Yes, sir, Ganga. Uh, how it is crossing, uh, where is the Ganga bridge? And all those things have become, and why uh, you should have sufficient knowledge of Buddhism. Yes, because when you are coming from Bihar, there is all probability that you are asked questions on Buddhism. Yes, sir, I have prepared on Bihar. 
I I missed on this uh, uh, artificial intelligence. I have to prepare a little more. Uh, I have prepared on behalf. So, what is what is the central theme of Buddhism? Um, so there are five uh, principles. That is no, that, is the, that you are not talking about the theme. There are one one hundred and five principles. I will never ask in the examination. Do you narrate one hundred and five principles to me? Will, do you expect that any examiner will ask you that? Tell me one one hundred and five principles. What is the basic theme? They recognize humanity as a whole instead of caste stratification. The caste was not existing in that time. It was the class that existed. Yes, sir, there was a class stratification. So they uh, universalize that. Uh, secondly, they espouse the principle of uh, um, the. So the you should you, don't bother. Don't bother. The only thing is that when you are coming from that state, you yes. should have sufficient knowledge on all these things. Especially mm -hmm. Buddhism. Remember it, because. It is bound to be asked from you. Yes. You are coming from uh, Bihar, and uh, you know you are in Mujaffarpur. Yes, sir. So, you know you are in that particular zone. Yes, sir. Vaisali. Yes, sir. Vaisali and all those things. So you have to be very clear in all these concepts. Yes. Sir. What is the importance of these monuments? Why are they there? What was done by Buddha in that particular area? All those things should be very very clear. Mm. And uh, lastly, uh, the board is of the view. That uh, while answering, while answering the question, you should maintain a very serious posture, which is giving a pleasant expression on your face. Yes, sir. Okay, and wear the clothes which you like. Yes. Clothes. When is your interview? Uh, March twenty third. So that will be the summer time. Uh, yes, sir. So you have to choose the clothes. Uh, yes, sir. Which are very comfortable to you. Uh, there is no need of having a uh, suit and tie at that time. Yes. On the other hand, you will be suffocated, and you will be sitting outside. You know, there is a hall, big hall, where they ask you to sit, and there you will be sitting for two and a half hours or so if your number is slightly lower. Uh, yes. Sir. Then it will be very difficult situation there. But for girls, it is easy because they can wear uh, the cotton sari. So you have to be very careful what you should wear. At that particular the tie is mandatory. No, it, nothing is mandatory. Just let me tell you. Sometimes. Uh, no. Uh, all person wears tie. Then no, 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 no. Many people do wear, but it's not. Yeah, it is not compulsory. Whatsoever you feel comfortable it in. Should be a formal dress. Very formal. Yes, it should be a formal dress. Like this one is fine. This is fine. Yes, sir. This is very good. Never think that. Who has told you that it is compulsory mandatory? Sir, I read on Quora that there was a. Person who didn't uh, wear this, and all was wearing, so he was looking little odd. कुछ नहीं. I will just tell you when I went for interview, I was uh, wearing one white shirt and one white trousers, and उसपे मैंने नील दिया था. नील जानते हो क्या होता है? Yes. उसके निशान रह गए थे बाकी उसके ऊपर. Yes. With that uh, set of clothes, I entered into the hall. Yes, sir. I will take care of that. So the point is that uh, that is not that important. It should give a formal appearance. Uh, yes. Sir. That you are giving importance to that uh, occasion. Yes, sir. So you are not taking it lightly and just just. Ah, uh, yes, sir. And okay. read your own paper. If your own paper, you are not clear. Your research paper. अभी मैंने पढ़ा उसके बारे में अभी मैंने इसमें जब आप बात कर रहे थे तो ना I saw all that thing. So the basic question it has been raised here that whether is a fiction or truth. Yes, sir. So it's a truth. You can search. No, no I am not saying. I am not saying that. No, no. But this was this was the basic question which was raised there. We are not uh, defining what you are saying. Ah, uh, yes. But. Uh, But there is just some area of doubts, some area of doubts. I don't know because I my knowledge on this subject is zero. Uh, yes, so I I have little problem because this is a technical, and uh, there was more of technical kind instead of biological kind. So on biological aspect, I will have to cover. I I don't know how to cover And this. At least aspect. your paper, uh, your research paper, you have to understand methodology, what they have done, how they have done. Yes, sir. What I does it mean, etc., etc. Yes, sir. What I've told that is my uh, understanding that there is a phylogenetic tree that has been drawn through analyzing those microbes <coughs> data, right? But you said father and son and all. Yes, That's sir. Not th phylogeny. That is a family tree. Yeah. Phylogeny is an evolutionary process. Ah, uh, yes. Which is uh, thousands of years and all those that timeline. Ah uh, yes sir so I just gave an example uh, no no you should not yes sir yes sir yeah so in in, in interview you should remember
Ah, because yes. there will be some member who will be understanding all these things. Ah, yes. And even if uh, we do not understand, when we start probing, these things will uh, come very clearly. And blood yes. does not have my, uh, any bacteria, it should yeah. not have. It should not have. Ah, because yes. this is supposed to be uh, totally neutral. Okay, I will have to again go to data ah. because I have to look at the what they look, say look, because look, look my, microbes yeah. is defined in that. Because whenever area. there is a bacteria there, then there is an infection. You, you and are disease. Yeah, you are disease. Ah, yes, sir, Your urine, blood, milk, uh, which is part of the on body, by, it has to be sterile. Yeah. Yes, sir, on biological aspect, I, I, I do yes. think that I need to work on that. Uh, so at, how least, at least what is pertaining to your research paper, that you must be absolutely clear. If you are not, then ask somebody. But at least be very clear. So I have little doubt if I can get some help on that, that would be good because that was technical and I find it. Little, so, little you confirm it from your teacher now, whosoever was your guide? So I understand the project. This is, the, I understand the project. That there ah, is because no you have given it a mathematical picture. Ah. So, mathematical picture you might be right, but yeah. biological aspect if it is not matching with the mathematical thing, then it is something which is creating confusion. That is the only thing. Otherwise, where you might be right. Where? Sir, my, there is a uh, uh, science direct was a publisher and uh, the publishing name was microbiology phylogenetic microbiology and phylogenetic there was no no uh, which was the magazine uh, publication uh, the, yes sir, my, uh, human microbiology and phylogenetic uh, there was some name this i never just unable to recall that that's right the now. title of your paper uh, no sir that is not title journal uh, yes, the journal name okay, is then this. people will ask you what is the impact factor of that journal, uh, yes, sir, I need to index, blah, blah, blah. There are a lot of questions which come. Credibility up. about uh, the journal. Uh, yes, sir, the credibility. Citation. Yes, yes, citation. How many citations have you Sir, there were 89 views. Uh, have you the citation? Uh, citation, you know? Uh, yes, sir. How, how, how many people are using that uh, research as a uh -huh. basis? Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I think there was four or five people. That's not bad. Yes, 4-5 is a very good number. Is it going to be used or is it going to be used? This is good. So, any question from your side? Sir, one was this, that how to go about this general aspect in the project. Because I am finding it little difficult to explain in the sense that how it can be explained in a very easy manner to the board and what kind of question can be asked on the project. Because project part I have not been able to uh, do it in a much the manner. Only, the only thing you have to do is just get into the biological aspect of the yes, sir. Only that. Yes, because sir. board will be interested in knowing that. They are not interested in knowing the analysis and the mathematical application to this and that. Yes, sir. So only biological aspect. You just uh, prepare for that. Yes, sir. Any other question? Uh, no, sir. Right? Yes, sir. So all the very, very best and be successful. Come with flying colors and take your name ahead, touch Thank this guy. Thank you, sir. Thank you.